Welcome back guys. Today we are talking about something important and these lights are annoying me and so is the dog outside. So I hope that this will be a nice video because we are talking about business today and I think that's better. That's very important. So I really wish this was a podcast. I love talking like this, you know. It makes me feel like I'm important and everybody will listen to me. But anyway, let's talk about the common business mistakes you will make as a beginner i can only talk about myself i will tell you the mistakes that i have done myself and maybe i hope that you will learn something from this video and you probably won't do these mistakes and if you are doing these mistakes right now then i'm sure that this will give you a new perspective on things okay so let's start from the beginning when i started with isha cosmetics yes i was very lost and a lot of people actually ask me this every single day. I get this asked every day. How did you start? What inspired you? What keeps you going? What's motivating you? And I really truly never have an answer to that because I don't know what motivates me. And I'm sure that you can connect to this as well because not many people know what motivates them. Do people motivate me? The answer is no. Do things motivate me? Products, designers? No. Nature does motivate me, but I think nah let's not talk bs no you know what motivates me me myself me myself i'm a very self-driven person and that is what helps me to get up every day maybe make content get up every day improve my products get up every day improve my services even when nobody's giving a shit. and i'm sorry this video is not going to be very softly spoken video okay we are not talking about leveling up today today i'm talking purely business so let's just get real okay i do cuss a lot sometimes i'm sorry that's it is what it is but only when it comes to work otherwise i'm a very fine lady okay as you can see you know you know you can see anyway i just felt a little fancy do you like the scarf i just felt a little fancy but anyway first mistake trying to depend on others to give you motivation and inspiration that's exactly what i did in the beginning now i have an answer because now i can truly tell you nothing motivates me it's me myself who motivates me every single day even when nobody's giving a shit about me even if i don't get the views even if i don't get i don't care i am doing what i'm doing period and i wish that this was the same way when i started when i started i was actually looking for like exterior sources of motivation and inspiration and somebody to come and encourage me every day maybe somebody come and tell me and say something nice to me and how much they appreciate my hard work and my efforts I truly wanted that in the beginning but I'm glad I never got that because then somehow I navigated myself on my own and landed here where now I'm very self-motivated and self-driven so that's your mistake number one don't rely on outer sources of like motivation and inspiration because if it's not there you're gonna literally stop halfway you know like don't if you are going to take away anything from this video this is that point you're going to take away, okay? Work on your mindset. Mindset is so important when it comes to success, business, and money. Fun part, well, there's a time for everything fun. But when we talk about something serious like business, entrepreneurship, even social media, it is work for people. It's not fun. It's not like a teenager just going outside, playing football. Oh, that's a cool picture with some cool sneakers. Let me just put it on Instagram and I'll get a lot of likes and I'll be like the cool dude in the class or in the college or whatever. No, that's not what social media is anymore. People take it seriously. It's a career for a lot of people, okay? But then what happens is once you are on Instagram or Facebook or you're doing a social media brand and your brand is based on social media, then a lot of people around you just don't even understand what you're doing in the first place. And that is where you're going to start to become really demotivated because then now you find yourself explaining yourself quite a lot to other people as to what it is that you do in the first place. And you don't want to be putting yourself in this position all the time because then that takes away the focus of your work. Isn't that so? And that is why it's so important to not look for motivation from other people or inspiration from other people because it will be really hard for you. Because when you do these unusual things that many people around you are not even aware of, then it becomes a very difficult situation for you to be in, right? So that is the first mistake. Looking for inspiration and motivation from like exterior sources, especially other human beings, when you already know other human beings are shit anyway. Let's get to the next point. 
I think another point that I'll have to make is again has to do a lot with mindset, but you really need to shift your mindset. You need to level up your skills and just be really good at marketing. Be really good at marketing and I mean that. You need to know how to sell, you need to know how to convince people and I was so bad, I was so shy. I remember when my first product launched, uh, it was a vitamin C mask. Um, by the way, see my previous video, uh, it's it's been upgraded now. But the way I talk about my products now, it's like I own them. This is me, this is a part of me and I love it. And I do everything and I work so hard to improve as much as I can every other day. I'm working on improving whatever I can about the business. However, in the beginning, I was so shy. I remember my first live video when my products launched, I was so shy. I couldn't even talk anything nice about them to save my life, really. I was shy, I was confused, I was nervous. I was like, oh my God, is this even gonna be nice? Like, are people even gonna accept that? Like, I talk about beauty and cosmetics and makeup so much. Are people even gonna accept anything that's like, uh, that has to do with skincare? Are they gonna accept me that way, you know? Like, damn, I was so bad at selling myself. Like, really, really bad. And I think that is one mistake you cannot afford to make all your life. Like, are you serious? No, if you have a service, if you have a product, you need to know, you need to own it, you need to know, okay, you know what, this is me, period, this is it. You're either gonna like it or you're gonna hate it, but there's no no, no place in the middle. You know what I'm saying? You either take it or you don't. You either accept me or you don't. You either like me or you don't. Simple as that. So you have to be so practical with these choices, you know, and you, by the way, can I also say, you cannot care about what people are thinking. Oh my God, people are so self-conscious, so damn self-conscious. They always want to be thinking, am I looking nice right now? Oh my God, is this angle nice? Oh my God, is this product nice? Oh my God, does it look pretty enough? Oh my God, are they going to accept me enough? Oh my God, what if somebody's going to hate me? Oh my God, what if a class fellow of mine, like an old ass Joe class fellow of mine just comes up here and say something bad under my live session? Like, what if that happens? Oh my God, it's going to ruin me. It's going to kill me. What am I going to do after that? Are you serious? If you think like this, there's no way on earth you're gonna sell anything at all. Not online, not even in real life. You cannot sell like that, okay? With that mindset, you cannot sell shit. It is what it is. And I think that is the first biggest mistake that I did also. I was so shy in even like being myself, bringing my product out, I was so shy. Will people around me accept it? Oh my God, what are other bloggers gonna say? Oh my God, they're gonna shit on me. Like they're gonna hate on me so much. And I used to think all these things and oh, it was, it was sad. It was sad. And you know what happens? When this stuff happens, nothing goes wrong. Nothing happens to nobody. The only problem that happens is that you don't grow as much. You might still be working every day, putting in the hours every day, but somehow in your mind, you're still stopping your growth. You're stopping yourself from doing more marketing, doing more videos maybe, putting out more banners maybe, doing more ads maybe. You're so shy. You're so critical of yourself because others are criticizing you so much. You just become so critical of yourself that you just don't want to be out there anymore. And then you're shy and nervous. And what that does, it stops your growth. Listen, if you have a business, you know that. We all know that. One day you're going to grow anyway if you keep on doing that. But if it's going to be slow, Joke's on you, joke's on you, you know? <laughs> so if you're okay with like a very slow speed, then yeah, I mean, do all that for you, you know? But I think these are just like those road bumps that you see on the roads, you know, like people stopping you, people discouraging you, people criticizing you and all of that. Those things, they get in here. And then when they get in here, then that's when you stop doing the right things because now you're just so self-conscious. And I think you need to get over yourself. You need to get, I even needed to get over myself. I was like, you know what, Isha, stop being such an introvert. Stop hiding all the time. Stop being so damn private. Like I'm a very private person. I, I mean, I still am very private. You see, all you see is yeah, makeup, cosmetics, skincare, this is all, this is it, period. You know, but again, it might not be the best thing for me to do. In fact, what I should be doing right now is, you know, be a bit more out there, act like an extrovert almost because I'm such an introvert, to be honest. So that doesn't really help sometimes, right? I mean, even if I have to do videos, I actually wait for the day where I'm really feeling myself and I'm really in that mode of being an extrovert, you know, and that often ever so happens maybe once a week. <laughs> but I kid you not, when that does happen, I am making the most of that day. If let's say a certain day I'm feeling myself like today I was, Guess how many videos I recorded today? Tons of them. 
tons of content today, tons of pictures, tons of product pictures, chatting with the team, lots of things I get done. And I'm feeling super active, proactive, really super like activated and pumped. And you know, I get so much stuff done. So yeah, if you're an introvert like me, then wait for those days where you're like super, super powerful. <laughs> and then make good use of those days. It's gonna help you so much, okay? So don't stop your growth. Don't take nobody's criticism seriously. I even get, okay, I have some followers that have been with me from day one, okay? And sometimes they message me, they're like, oh my God, Isha, sometimes you get so much hate. And sometimes, yes, I mean, I'm loved quite a lot. I'm, I think I'm quite blessed like that. I have way more supporters than I have anybody criticizing me. Uh, it really kind of outweighs it, you know? And it always does. It always does. That's what you should focus on anyway in the first place. Don't be focusing on that one silly loser shithead because there's going to be so many people to back you up, to support you, to keep giving you feedback so that you can improve. And that is where you want to put your focus on, not the other shitheads. I'm telling you, don't do that because I did it and it wasn't right for me. It wasn't right for me. I even remember the time when I was bullied online quite a lot. Guess what I did? I was like, oh my God. I'm such a classy person and this is not for me. I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm just going to get out of here. That was me being petty, silly. I regret that one year break that I took from social media altogether. No content, not, not much. I was like, you know what? I'm just a private person. I'm just going to do me. I don't care about people. I don't care about my brand is all right. Even if it doesn't work, it's okay. What was that? That was my mindset. I was up for failure. Basically I was setting myself up for failure. I, that was, that was me putting like a comma, like a break, like a full stop on my own growth. And that was bad for my business. I started having lots of losses, lots of problems, and I wasn't even bothered about it. Like that was the shittiest part. I wasn't bothered about it. Now thinking back, I'm like, oh my God, how did I even live with that? Now something goes wrong, I get anxiety and I'm like, I need to fix it right now, right now, right now. Even if it's the middle of the night, I am up and I'm getting shit done, okay? But first, well, in that break especially, I didn't do nothing and I regret that break anyway bless all those losers because now they're nowhere to be seen I'm flourishing and that's what you want to do right you want to just keep improving keep increasing whatever you have to do you just keep doing better and just like increase I mean increase maybe let's just say improve your skills and improve your services improve the quality of the product and as much as you can keep doing you okay you just have to do that you have to do that Nobody's going to come and give you the motivation. Nobody's going to come and give you that encouragement. Nobody. Sometimes not even relatives, not even your friends. I'm sorry to tell you that that is reality. Okay. So pump up yourself, encourage yourself, motivate yourself because nobody else is going to do that anyway. And that is just reality. Now get it in your head and now get your shit together. You know, does that make sense? Another mistake that I was doing. Oh my God. Oh my God. I was having control issues. Like, I would want to be everywhere. I would be checking up on the website, doing the PR, talking to the influencers, customer service, checking up on the emails, checking everything on the website, my own Instagram, and then my own Facebook, and then my live sessions. And then there's a... Guys, it's like a thousand things you got to do in one day. It sounds easy because you think it's all glam and makeup and fashion and all that. But no, it's, it's a lot of work that goes into it, you know? I feel like... Maybe a nine to five would probably be a bit more convenient for me at this point. That's what I think, because this one is like 24 seven, 365 days a year, literally. OK, there's no break. You can't really take a break. I tell you something funny. As you guys already know, I felt really, really ill in the last week of November. I kind of couldn't do much. The only thing I managed to do, obviously, I managed to upgrade our packaging and stuff, which I'm really happy about. Um, but other than that, I didn't really do much. Like I could if I was normal, okay? So I was actually supposed to... Oh my God, this is the silliest mistake that I've ever done. Even saying that makes me feel so stupid. That this is such a recent thing that has happened. Should have ha shouldn't have happened. Because now I'm okay and now I know what I'm doing and I'm on it every day. But there was this one silly mistake that happened. I was supposed to renew my domain, which is ishacosmics.com, and I didn't do that on time. Like, look at me ignoring that damn email. Hey, you need to renew this. I didn't renew it. Guess what happened? Guess what happened? Somebody else registered that domain. I don't know who that... Okay, I don't want to be demonetized, but... Who... You can imagine all the things that I'm saying to him or her right now, okay? The domain is gone. 
all right i'm panicking here i'm like what within two days like it's just been two days guys within two days who could get that domain like are you flipping kidding me oh my god which is also why now our domain has moved to ishacosmetics.co.uk and that is not something i regret okay fine maybe it happened for good it's okay i always had this in mind that i actually want a website which is co.uk instead of just .com you know so that people really know we are from the uk because everybody's always confused where we're based and all of that so it makes it easy for people to know we're based in the uk when the website goes like abc.co.uk you know so maybe it's good but still i was like damn no somebody has that domain and it's such a small little thing if you think about it if you think about it it's, it's nothing but hello it is something so basically i don't own ishacosmites.com anymore hello hello oh god i feel stupid saying that i'm telling you so this is the most recent mistake i did so the lesson here is never ignore your emails don't honestly even if you're ill you know what don't oh no don't mm -mm. until and unless you have like a team everything in place maybe but for my emails i don't have anybody my emails i check myself personally anything that has to do with the finance part the money part or the emails that i keep very private and that's only where i touch it but when it comes to social media posting you know pr this that for that i have like now a system in place i do have girls that do work on that and stuff like that so i have this little team that i've built over the time so that's great but i didn't have that before before this mistake that i was doing was i was everywhere i would check on everything i would do everything you can't be everywhere guys you can't be everywhere you just sit down and write down all the points that has to be done in your business like the day to day activities and then you pick and choose what is it that you are able to do personally every single day like what are you really good at every single day you stick to that other silly small little things somebody else can do that for you save yourself the time let go of the control issues because that is one thing we girls especially get i don't know about guys but we girls can definitely get a little like controlling in that way like no i'm going to do all of it myself i can't trust anybody i'm okay i'm going to do it myself that was totally me and that's not the right way to be okay you don't want to have those trust issues nothing is going to happen trust me you're paying someone you can also have a contract done and made if you don't trust people don't be a jack of all trades and then like the master of none because how long like how far is that going to take you and how long is that going to last you have to think about long term you know and that is what i was not doing so well at that time so i was doing everything but then later at one point i realized you can also get contracts done let's say you don't trust people you can get contracts made and stuff by like a lawyer or whatever so that everything is quite uh, private and confidential between you between the brand the company and the workers that work with you you know so let go of the control issues it's not such a big deal especially if you are the one paying them don't worry nothing will go wrong like duh what else are they going to do what are they going to do like you think that people are going to fuck you over that's what i'm trying to say I don't mean to offend anyone but it's just you think that but you're like everybody is going to be after me everybody is going to try to screw me over everybody is going to you know when that happens that will happen in a way that you would never have even thought about does that make sense it might not really happen from like let's say a person who's working for you just to do social media posts let's say what can they do what what will they do you know and i was thinking all these things they're going to delete my whole instagram account i'm never going to give anybody any access i was being stupid nobody's going to delete your instagram account are you serious y you know what i'm saying like i was thinking all these things and i know i'm sure people do that people think like that maybe they think all sorts of crazy things but let it go nothing will happen because even if they try to delete it it's like okay isha uh, the email is still in my control like if anything happens i'll get an email anyway so this is okay it's okay you know so i'm so happy i let go of that control it was so hard for me it was such a hard decision for me to actually start building up a little team wow i was always looking out for people okay who is the die who is like a die hard fan and that's the only person that's ever going to work for me this is how i was thinking i was still in that limited mindset where i would think that everybody else is going to screw me over so let me just go for those people who who would die for me like who would love me to the core and that's a wrong mindset you don't need to do that you can trust you just have to see people are good at the skills that you need them to do for you and that's all 
there is to it, you know, nothing more, nothing less. Another silly mistake that I did was in the beginning, I wasn't aware that, okay, if you have like pictures that you want to use from Google or even Pinterest or Instagram and put them up on the blog, like when we started ishacosmetics.co.uk now, um, we had like this blog section on the website, which we still have, by the way. So we used to post, like I had this content writer for me, she used to post blogs every day of different topics that has to do with cosmetics and skincare and stuff, you know? And what happened was, we were using pictures just from Google and everything else. One time, all of a sudden, I remember, and that was still literally the beginning, and one time I remember I received a letter in my office, and it goes something like, you know, you have, you have used like our copyrighted image, you were not supposed to do that, and blah, blah, blah. And there was a penalty charge of like 250 pounds on that letter, and I was panicking. I'm like, oh my God, this is the beginning. I hardly have ever even started to make any kind of profit at all. I have this girl that I have to pay also. And I'm certainly not paying myself not even a penny at the moment. Anything that's even coming is being reinvested into more product, better service and all of that, you know. So it was so hard. And then I'm doing these silly little mistakes. But these were hard lessons, guys. So try to make your own images, your own photographs, whatever. Even if it's just shitty quality, do it yourself. Don't use other people's music, pictures. I mean, you might be innocent and naive. You don't know. Like, I didn't know. I was like, copyright? What's that? You know? But yeah, it's the thing, okay? So you have to be so aware of these things and don't use anybody's music, anybody's pictures. Don't do that because you can be charged for that, okay? You can be sued for that and that's so annoying. Like, literally, nowadays, you can be sued for anything and almost everything, really. Let me talk about this one really important subject now. But it's going to be the last point, but really important point. And that is, don't take anybody's feedback personally. Like when a customer is talking a certain way, they're having a bad day or they're really like, oh my God, my product has not arrived yesterday. Why did it come today? It does happen. You get all sorts of all kinds of customers, all kinds of people that you have to deal with on a daily basis. You can't let that phase you. Don't take it personally. Do not take it personally. You know why? when you are working or you have a brand and it's registered or whatever that a brand is a totally different body it's not you anymore it's it's the brand a brand includes tasks services different products timings deliveries it, it includes social media it includes different people that work for it blah 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 it also includes you but then you're a separate body you have to remember that so any feedback that's coming from a customer for the brand even if it's just a complaint, like a small complaint, it's for the brand. Don't take it personal. You are a different body. The brand is a different body. Don't take it personal for your body, if that makes sense. It's for the brand. You take that feedback and you apply that to your brand to improve it. And trust me, criticism, any sort of bad feedback is going to help you so much in order to be able to do that. So don't take it. I think when people uh, stop improving and doing better with their brands or businesses is when they start taking the feedback like personally to themselves. But they don't understand that criticism is not coming for you as a person. It's coming for the damn brand. Do you understand that? It's, it's a different story, you know. So you have to take it as it is, okay, and apply those things to your brand just so you can improve and please those customers. Do not ever take anything personal what a customer says, okay? You want to keep building these nice networks and relationships and connections where if a person, let's say, was not happy in the first go with your product or the service, no worries. You were still polite. You were still great. You were still welcoming. You still offered them another discount on the next product that they purchase. Trust me, more than often, I have found that they always do come back. And this has always helped me in my ways and my ethics or my morals or my rules, let's say, for the brand, me and my girls, we are all super, super friendly. So even if we get like a bad feedback, let's say, we never take it personally. I get criticism all day long. I don't take it personally because I know that that's meant to be for my work. That means I could improve my work. I mean, hell, if I start taking everything personally, I'll be screwed by now. You know what I'm saying? Guys, I need to start doing podcasts. If you guys are interested in podcasts, you need to let me know because I need to order, like, what do you call that? Like that headphone, a mic, whatever, okay? Uh, tell me what do I need for a podcast because I really want to do a podcast and talk like this with you guys because I find it really interesting. And then it's like the ASMR thingy also. I just love it so much, okay? But yes, guys, these were all the points that these were like the common mistakes that I was doing quite a lot. Note them down and I hope that you're not making these mistakes. And even if you are, 
Let me know in the comments below what are the top mistakes as an entrepreneur or maybe somebody who has a brand online or if you're just a small business, what are the mistakes that you're doing at the moment? And what are the mistakes that you did and learned from them? And what is it that now you're doing better? I would love to know your feedback, guys. And let me know if you want more videos like this, a bit more about business side also. And we could do more on that. And do let me know about the podcast, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you do subscribe to the channel for more videos. I upload all the time, okay? Follow me on Instagram, which is me, Lady Isha. Don't forget to visit my website also, which is ishacosmetics.co.uk. Order in your products, which is all related to skincare. And these are really bomb products, especially your hair oils are like the killer. You're going to love those. Until my next video, take care of yourself. Take care of your well-being. Take care of your business and don't make these silly mistakes. Bye.